testing, testing, one, two, three. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the data science certificate from Waterloo slash U of T. Basically, this is a joint program that Waterloo has combined with U of T. And when I signed up for it, it was before the pandemic. And if you want to take it with U of T, then you have to go in class and if you want to do it online, then you would go with water. The reason why I took this course was because I didn't really like my current job that much. I was working as a product engineer and it was a lot of hands-on activities that was involved and I'm just not really a hands-on type of person. And I was also looking into the future in terms of job opportunities and I felt like there wasn't a lot of job opportunities being a product engineer. I would probably have more chances working in a manufacturing plant, which was not something I wanted to go back into. So data was something that I was pretty much interested in just because it seemed like there were a lot of career advancements um, and a lot of opportunities in the future. And so this was a course that I took. Before I took this course, there were another school that I was looking into, which is Ryerson University, who offered the data analytics certificate. And as I was going through it, the courses looked like, you know, the same topics were being covered, but for Ryerson, it was six courses that you need to complete to get their certificate. Whereas for the Waterloo slash U of T one, you only need four courses to complete to get their certificate. And each course costs around the same for both Ryerson and Waterloo, which was a thousand dollars before tax. I ended up paying a thousand dollars and $250 after tax. And I got reimbursement from my company who was willing to pay $2,000 a year. So I actually ended up taking two years to finish this certificate. <laughs> the data science course from U of T and Waterloo, they do recommend that you have a STEM background, preferably in engineering, statistics, um, to be able to take this course. And it is strongly recommended. And after taking this course, I 100% agree with them. I have a STEM background and I felt like it was pretty hard for me to follow along with a lot of the topics as well. For Ryerson, it is more harder to get into. There is an admission requirement. You need to be a mature student with four years of working experiences, or you have a high school diploma with 70% average, and, and two of the courses have to be from math and science. I opted for the Waterloo one just because it will take a lot faster to complete the certificate and I want to just break into the field as soon as possible and I also would be saving $2,000 as well. There are four courses that you have to take. The first one is, found is Foundations of Data Science. The second one is Statistics for Data Science. The third one is Big Data Management System and the last one is Machine Learning. So I'm just going to go over briefly what each topic kind of covers and my experiences with pretty much each courses. I find that the first course, Foundation of Data Science, was a little bit better. They kind of ease you into um, data science, um, introduce you into Jupyter Notebook, which was very helpful because I find that now that I'm working as a data analyst, that part was pretty important and that was something that I learned from this course. Um, it taught you the foundation of programming, which I already have some experiences with, so it wasn't too difficult. So I would say the first course, not so bad. It was kind of slow, um, kind of talked about, you know, machine learning, touch upon machine learning a little bit. Um, yeah, just that was okay. The second course, Statistics for Data Science, was a lot more challenging. I felt like it just went from zero to 100 really fast. Um, it, it was just too much information and not enough time. And while the first course, they had like a weekly lecture to go over materials, the second course was more of a oh, self-study and we will have lecture um, every once in a while to go over questions that you have. I find that this one was probably one of the hardest courses out of all four of them. 
and I thought it would be the easiest because I have statistic background I did engineering and some of them were a bit of a review in the beginning but then later on it just got a little bit more difficult but it did introduce me to time series and I think that is actually pretty important when you're working in the real world the third course is big data management system so this one is just talking about um, how to clean up large data sets and is pretty much more related to data engineering type of job and what I find about this course was it's not too bad um, it introduced you to SQL which is very important because that is what most jobs need but only the basic it doesn't really go too far and the last course which is machine learning to be honest with you I don't even know what went on in that last course I <laughs> It was just all a blur it this was probably one of the difficult courses yet so i actually can't really say much about this course it was it was just i was just trying to get through it if you are interested in taking this course you have to realize that this is more of a self-study course for all of this it's not you know you send a lecture and they go and teach you stuff you have to read through the lectures that they give you and i would say the material is very it's long and it's almost like a word vomit. They just give you as much information as possible. And I actually find that it wasn't as helpful and I didn't really feel like I took away as much as I wanted to from this course. And if I had to pay my own money to take these courses, I think I would be pretty upset with how it was taught, um, the course material. It was, some of them were very difficult to follow as well. The problem with the material that they gave you is that it's so much and you are asked to go through them in such a short amount of time that you don't even feel like you know the material very well. I would rather have material given to me that's not that much and then we understand the concept very well. But in the way that it was presented, I felt like I didn't really learn much at all from it and it just feels like it was kind of like a waste. I also realized that a lot of people that are taking this course are actually in the industry themselves. They are already in the data industry, they are already familiar with a lot of things that they're talking about. I think this course is just more of an enhancement for them to learn a little bit more. And um, this is definitely not for someone who knows nothing about it and for someone like me who pretty much knew nothing about it, it was kind of hard to really catch up and learn everything and really feel like I got a lot of stuff out of it. One thing that I also noticed is that my boyfriend is a data scientist and when I showed him the work, showed him the course material, he himself said he doesn't really know what is going on and he said it was really poorly written. It was just like just give you a bunch of information like poorly written by a PhD where it's really hard to understand and I find that to be very true unfortunately. One thing that I wish that I did was just stick to the key topics um, that are used in the industry and kind of spend a bit more time on that so that we would learn that very well but unfortunately it wasn't it was just like throw as much information at you as much as you can and you know just it, it kind of felt like a scam in some ways i was just like okay we'll just throw as much information and then you they just kind of take your money but that's just me when i first took this course i thought that this course or the certificate is pretty much for people who don't really know too much have a stem background and want to kind of gain a bit more knowledge in this industry um but what i came to realize that it's really not it's actually for people who already are in this industry, um, are working pretty much related to this kind of stuff, have a lot of programming experience, and I find that those people are actually getting the most out of this course and they just want to expand their knowledge. I'm going to go over the breakdown of the course. So in each course there are either four or five assignments and they make up about 60% of your grade. And the assignments are some of them are pretty tricky, but the first course, I find that most of the answers could be found online. Um, it's not too difficult, 
but I find that they will give you marks for trying so they're not too strict about it so I feel like a pass is almost like a guarantee unless you don't do anything at all then you have a group project which is worth 30 percent and in the group project there's always somebody who knows the most who's already working in this industry and that kind of helps um, the group a lot more and pretty much the group project is just about predicting something using data and I actually find that the group assignment is actually more valuable and is more related to what you would be working with in real life. The last 10% is your participation in answering and asking questions about the group projects. So all these group projects are posted online and there's a time period where you have to go in and just ask questions and answer questions about your project. And I feel that if you just answer a couple of them, you get the full 10%. They're actually not too strict about that. The grading part doesn't really matter too much to me. I think it's just more of like how much I felt like I got out of this course. And with the amount of difficulty that, the, the way that they presented the course material and it was just so technical, I felt like there was no way most people could just understand this and I just feel like it wasn't taught very well at all. If I could redo this course, I probably would not take it. I might maybe offboard a course from Ryerson. Um, maybe since it's spread out over six courses, maybe I will have um, a better understanding of what I learned. And I did end up getting a data analyst job, not a data scientist job, which I feel like I was not even ready for a data scientist job after this course, like no way. Um, but I wouldn't say that this is the main contributing factor to me landing a data analyst job. There are many other factors. I would say that this probably contributed around 10 to 30 percent, but I will talk about that in my next video of how I landed my data science job and what it took me to get there. Um, but for this but for this video, I'm just only going to talk about my experience with this data science certificate. So I hope you liked the video. This was a video that I wanted to do for a very long time, but I haven't really had the chance to. And um, if you have any questions about it, please let me know in the comments. I'll try my best to answer them. And if you already took this course and you find it useful, let me know. So maybe it's not just me. And um, yeah, so good luck for all those who are pursuing a career in data. And thanks for watching. Bye.